So I'll give you a quick demonstration of the triple plus and safe at home gas and water isolation solution. So we'll quickly go through some of the peripherals um, just to give you an idea of what they are. So the first device we have is a controller or a gateway device. We then have a water isolation valve in the open position and a gas isolation valve in the open position. We also have a suite of sensors. We have a water sensor or flood detector, we have a gas sensor, natural gas in this instance, and then we will also have a carbon monoxide sensor. And there's also an application that can reside on a mobile phone, be it iOS, Android or Windows, and it will also work through a portal onto a PC. So a little bit more detail about how the solution fits together. The wireless controller or gateway, as it's called, connects back to the internet via a broadband or mobile connection. It in turn talks to a cloud-based platform that takes all the alerts from all the peripherals that we will go through. As we move to the water isolation valve and the gas valve, these talk wirelessly back to the controller gateway and then send their status back to the cloud platform. As we move up to the water sensor, and the gas sensor and also the carbon monoxide sensor, they also talk wirelessly back to the, uh, the controller and gateway and in turn send the alerts back to the cloud platform and the cloud platform will then interpret the actual alert and then send notifications out to the app or the platform, whoever is viewing it. So let's see some of the devices actually in operation. So we'll start with a natural gas sensor and we'll simulate a gas leak. So the first thing you'll hear is an audible alert and you'll see that the light has changed to red and a notification is now being sent from the cloud platform to the gas isolation valve and it's now changed the status to closed. What you'll also see is the actual app itself has now changed to leak so it's notifying on the mobile phone. That could also appear in a, an alert centre or contact centre showing a leak in one, two or many properties. What you'll also see is that the actual gas valve is now in closing situation, so it's changed from being an open to now closed. If we go to the specific valve itself, it says the gas valve is closed. If it was a false alert or you wanted to turn the gas back on, you simply press the button, which now changes the status back in the cloud platform to open the valve, and the valve itself will change to an open status. Uh, how this could be used for, as an example, is if you wanted to maybe on a, on a gas leak, potentially if you have 50, 60 properties down the road, rather than individually going to each property to isolate it, you could just send a command to all of the valves and isolate them in independence. So you now see, or oh, it will change the status, that the actual gas valve itself is now opening and will be open. The other element is to show how a flood could be actually identified. So here we have a, a flood sensor, wall mounting unit and the actual sensor itself. We'll just drop in some water. So again you get an audible alert to say that it's actually detected. If you go down now you'll see immediately the water isolation valve is moving to a closed position and if we look at the application it's now saying we have a leak on the system. So we can, the same way we did on the other solution, the status will change on the water valve, which is now closing. We can go into the valve itself. It's still in closing position. It's now closed, and again in the same time, if it was the water board, they wanted to turn a whole street or a suite of houses off, they could close them, and in the same time, they could reopen those. So I'm now sending the signal back to the cloud platform, which in turn is now opening the water isolation valve. What you'll also start to see, and it is dependent on the networks, unfortunately we'll probably want to show that we'll put a separate maybe um, picture image of a captured screen, but in your notifications in your phone, you will actually get um, a notification saying that it's either been a gas or a water leak and it'll be time and date stamped. Um, and that can also be pushed through to um, an alert receiving centre.